Hey, and welcome to episode four of trying to do a never been done trick every week. This will be the fourth and potentially the final episode of this series. I'll talk more about that later at the end of this video, but for now, I wanna focus on the trick that I will be trying today, which is gonna be a gazelle cancel flip. And before I try that, let me kind of talk about the terminology regarding the gazelle cancel flip, why it's called that, and what I'm gonna be trying. So first of all, I'm gonna be trying this trick over the hip. And when you skate over a hip, you kind of round up when referring to a trick in terms of rotation. For example, if you to backside flip a hip what do you imagine it's kind of a kick flip to fakie backside over the hip but you're not turning an entire 180 degrees you're turning more maybe closer to 90 degrees rather than 180 but it's still called a backside flip you still round up as i call it that way so for a gazelle flip you're not exactly going to back 360 with your body and your board it's more of a back 270 and a gazelle flip is going to be a backside 360 with a varial flip inside of it or you could think of it like a big flip revert whatever you want to call it over the hip that's what i'm going to be trying with a cancel of the flip and uh let me explain what i mean by that so the way i think about it is for a normal cancel flip you do half of the kick flip and then your back heel kicks it a back half heel flip late back and you know you kind of cancel out the rotation you land back on the wheels but for a gazelle flip it's going to be a little different because you're doing a varial flip so because it's doing half a kick flip plus the shove it when you get to the point where you want to cancel it the rotation is going the opposite way so you want to kick it back not with your heel like you would with the normal cancel flip but with your toes because that's kicking it back the way that it was flipping. I don't know if any of that made sense to you, but basically because it's a varial flip, you're not late heeling it, you're late toe kicking it. And uh, it's basically a varial flip within a back 360 or a backside 270. So that's what I'm gonna be trying. A backside 270 varial flip, cancel it back, or a gazelle cancel flip. Probably made no sense, probably very confusing, and I'm a very confusing human, not very good at communicating, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna try that. So yeah, now that you kind of have an idea of what I'm trying, I'm gonna get warmed up. I haven't skated yet today. Just warm up with some easy tricks, work my way up to, you know, gazelle flip type tricks. Whatever sounds fun, whatever's just gonna get my body warm, and then I can try this trick. Also, I'm not sure if this trick has not been done. The others I can be pretty sure about it because there's some obscure combos, but this is just a basic flip trick. So I hope it's not been done. I haven't seen it before, but if it has, I'm gonna try a second NBD afterward on the pyramid just to make sure I have a never been done trick for you guys here today. But yeah, we're gonna get warmed up and we're gonna see what happens. I don't know what else I want to do. Landed some things that felt pretty good, so I'm just gonna start trying the trick. Yeah, that was too easy. There's no way nobody did that. Yeah, that was way too easy. There's no way nobody didn't do that before, but I'll try and do one more, clean it up, because it was a little sketch.
slippery. Oh, f Other one counts. <laughs> Ah. All right, I had to pack up my stuff and run back in the car because it started pouring, as you can see out here outside of my window. It is just raining a lot. The park is unskatable and it looks like it's gonna pour down rain for the whole rest of the day, but at least I landed one before it started raining. But I just didn't like how my back foot landed. It didn't touch the ground or anything, but the toes were kind of hanging off. But I guess for today, we're gonna have to accept it. I really wanted to redo it and I probably will come back and redo it. But for now, we're gonna have to take that. Again, I've never seen anyone else do this trick, but it, this one wouldn't surprise me if someone did because this one actually kind of just made a lot of sense. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And like I talked about earlier, this might be the last episode because first of all, I love making these videos. When I thought of the idea of this series, I was super pumped because I just really like doing new tricks that I haven't seen before. To me, it's one of the coolest parts of skating is that it's been around for so long, but anybody anywhere in the world can do a trick that's never been done. And I just love that aspect of skating. When I was younger, that's what got me really excited was, you know, you'd see new tricks all the time and it's not like a video game where you finish and it's over. You can just keep going forever. And it's not like team sports where there's a bunch of rules. It's like, you can get as weird as you want and you can do the most unacceptable things possible, but you know, nobody's gonna stop you. You know, you could be like me where, you know, people will just constantly bash you on the internet for doing stupid things. But you know, if you just don't care, it's really fun and there's just an unlimited amount of doorways and skating that each trick will open up you can link things together in any combos that you want and just skating is the coolest thing ever so that's kind of why i wanted to start this series was to just explore skating more get the brain thinking more of weird new ideas and i appreciate all the comments from you guys you know you had some good ideas and also i'm glad that a lot of you did enjoy this series because it was fun and i hope that translated through and you know also maybe i'll just keep doing more episodes just maybe not every week and the reason that I'm stopping, unfortunately, is because first off, YouTube videos are not about views. That's not why I started doing YouTube and that's not why I make videos. I wanna do videos that I genuinely love and enjoy. That being said, views are kind of an indication to me of what people are interested in and what people want to watch. And this series, while it got very positive feedback in the comments, the views were just really low relative to my other videos. And while that's obviously not that important, it just gives me an indication that, okay, maybe people aren't interested in this and I can direct my time and efforts towards new videos, new video ideas and new projects that people will be more interested in and that more people will wanna watch. So, you know, there's nothing negative that comes from any of this, it's all positive. And if you guys really did enjoy this, I probably will continue making more videos like this in the future. I can just continue this series, just not every week. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was cut short. And if you guys have any other ideas for tricks you want me to try, for video series you want me to try, let me know in the comments, I read all of them and it's so cool to hear what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and uh you know i'll see you next week on the next video bye bye all right so it turns out i'm still here at Kanye skate park it's drying up a little bit it's still wet but i think it's dry enough where i can go up the pyramid and not slip out. So I'm gonna take the gazelle cancel flip that I landed earlier because there's no way I can go at an angle over the hip without slipping out, but I can go up and down in a straight line, hopefully. And like I said, I wanted to do one more trick just in case the first one I did has been done before. So when I was trying the first NBD of this series, 540 pop, shepherd blunt, body bear, or revert, on one of them, I just landed wrong. So as a joke, I grabbed the nose and went for a finger flip and didn't land it just as a joke. But one of the people commenting said, oh, you should do that with the finger flip and I thought about it and that probably has not been done I don't know but either way I'm gonna try and go for it so I have two tricks hopefully one of them hasn't been done I'm gonna try a 540 pop shove it blunt finger flip to fakie if I can I'm gonna go home. See you guys next video. Well, as you can see, it started raining. Pyramid's very slippery. My board just 
slipped out and smacked me in the knee super hard.